Welcome guys and what we're going to be looking at in our tutorial today is how to use the Casio FX83 GTX, the newer version of the Casio calculators, to calculate our correlation coefficient or, which tells us the relationship between bivariant data on a scatter graph. So you can see that we have bivariant data here. We have two different pieces of data that we presume to have a relationship with each other the height and weight of, tw of 10 persons. So now to calculate the correlation coefficient to see the relationship between this data, we need to use our calculator here. So the first thing we're gonna do here is press the menu button in the top right hand corner. And then we can see that there's a little histogram symbol here that shows me that pressing two will give me statistics. So I press two here to get statistics. Then we're gonna get we're going to press 2, which is equal to y equals a plus bx, because this is going to re represent our line. So we press 2 again, and we get a table that looks like this, where we have our x values and our y values. Now when we draw the histogram, whatever we put on our x-axis and whatever we put on our y-axis should be in the, rep the relevant columns. Usually we would have put h, our height, on our x-axis, because it's going up in consistent heights. So we're going to type those in now into our x column. So we have 150 as our first height. We type that in and we press equals to move down the column. 152 is our next height, press equals. 155 is our next height, press equals. 158 is our next height, press equals. 160 equals. 163 equals. 165 equals. 170 equals and 175 equals. So I can see I've used nine different values here, which then I would check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine values is what I have in my table. So now I'm gonna use the navigation keys between the alpha and the menu button to press across to get into the next column and to press up to get back to the top of the table to our first value, okay? So now that I'm matching 1, which is 150, I'm going to start typing in my weights, the first one being 57. So we press 57 and equals to move to the next column, to move to the next row in the column. 62 equals, 63 equals, 64 equals, 58 equals, 62 equals, 65 equals, 66 equals, and 70 equals. And I can see now I have nine values in both columns, so we've typed in the table correctly. The next thing we're gonna do to find our correlation coefficient is we're gonna press the option button, O-P-T-N, underneath the shift button. And when I do that, I'm given different options. To calculate our correlation coefficient, we're gonna use four, the regression calculator. So we press four, and now I can see that I have three different values, A, B, and OR. My OR value is my co correlation coefficient, which I can see here is 0 0.79, a positive 0 0.79. So we have a positive correlation, which is very close to one, so I would describe that as a strong positive correlation meaning that as my height increases, my weight proportionally increases. Okay guys, take a minute, go back through this video, make sure we understand how to use our calculator to find our correlation coefficient. Just to show you, if we press option again, it would bring us back to the table. If we press option again, we could press three for two variable calculator. And when I do that, I can see I have different values here. I have x with a little hat, which I know is my mean, is 160. I know that I have my sigma x is my standard deviation, which is 7.78. So both of these would be important calculations going forward as well to know on our calculator. Okay, guys, thanks very much and see you next time.